Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I'm going to continue on on this video with our second in our Photo Light Magic series, shooting with Speedlight Softboxes. This one is uh, a Darth Vader shoot. We're going to shoot a Darth Vader figure, uh, and we're going to use the Sony RX100. Obviously, the Sony RX100 does not have a hot shoe, so we're going to be using a, the optical trigger that is built into the Nikon SB26 that I'm using in the uh, Speedlight softbox and that is how we're going to uh, trigger the off-camera lighting through the Speedlight softbox. Basically, uh, for those of you that are familiar with the RX100, the uh, flash, when it's activated, has a, um, a tilting feature on the flash so you can just pull it back and use it for bounce flash which is how we are going to trigger the optical slave that on the uh, on the Nikon SB26 speedlight that is being fired through the speedlight softbox and that's how we're going to uh, to trigger the speedlight softbox for our off camera lighting for this set of pictures we're going to use just one speedlight softbox with the Nikon SB26 in it and no reflectors at all just wanted to make it real simple and uh, here in this uh, first shot here, we've just got an environmental shot. We're once again shooting in the living room. We're using the uh, corner table that we used in the previous video with the Lego dump truck. And what I've done for an interesting kind of background is I've taken my coffee table and just stood it on end and moved it back as far as I could from the corner table and uh, we're going to work with this to try and get a neat um, background in the, in the image in the background to make this uh, instead of just pure black we're going to have a little bit of uh, more interesting background this uh, shot here just shows you again the speed light uh, softbox the Nikon SB26 on the softbox there and the corner table now on the SB26 you can see the remote trigger is still on here from the previous shoot I'm gonna take that off as we will be just firing this softbox with the optical slave on the SB26 this shot here we've got the uh, Darth Vader figure this is him standing on the corner table there and you can see what type of backdrop we're getting from the coffee table standing in the background and this is just ambient light with the RX100 uh, this is no um, softbox being used here this is just ambient no flash at all no other lighting than ambient light that's coming through the windows this was shot at ISO 800 at f49 one eighth of a second on the Sony RX100 Next shot here, just another quick shot to show you. We brought in the softbox, the Speedlight softbox. You can see the Nikon SB26 on there. And you can see that I have taken off the uh, remote trigger as we don't need it. And I've turned the flash head around so that the optical slave has a better, um, better reception to see when the flash goes off on the RX100 when I've tilted it so that it will fire the speed light into the soft box and you could see uh, there's Darth Vader there again on the table the corner table and you can see in the background the um, coffee table I've stood on end to just try to give us uh, some interesting background look there's another shot of the same thing just gives you a little more perspective on on what we're working with here the corner table coffee table in the background and where the soft box is positioned in relation to the next photo here, I just wanted to show you, this is not using the Speedlight softbox. This is on-camera flash. This is the on-camera flash from the Sony RX100. This is at ISO 80, F10, 1 100th one of a second. And I wanted to show you this in comparison to the next shot. Here's just a quick test shot with the Speedlight softbox triggered from the RX100. You can see there's no direct flash coming from the RX100. The flash is tilted up to trigger the optical slave. And so this is lit with the Speedlight softbox. So you can see the big difference here. The next one here again, on-camera flash from the Sony RX100. Kind of not very flattering looking. Um, I guess it would be okay in a pinch if you just needed to document something. But here we go to the next photo. And again, just a quick test shot. This is the Speedlight softbox and no on-camera flash. So basically the on-camera flash is directed into the ceiling, triggering our Speedlight softbox with the optical slave, and you're getting much nicer lighting from the Speedlight softbox and the SB26. 
Now we're getting into some shots with the uh, where I'm playing around with the lighting a bit more, checking angles and things. And this is the uh, Speedlight Softbox lighting the uh, Darth Vader figure again with the Sony RX100 ISO 80. We're at f8 for our aperture here, and this is one one hundredth of a second. And uh, I've cropped these photos to 16 by 9 so that you can see, um, so that they'll fill the frame for the video. Um, in doing so, I've, they've, they've, a lot of them are going to be some pretty tight crops, as you'll see here. But I think they work for the video. Uh, what I may do at the end is just show you a quick slideshow of the images with uh, without the crop. And you can see what the images look like with no crop. Also like to point out here that all of these images are shot with no adjustments. The only thing I've done in Lightroom is I've used the clone brush just to take out some dust that was on the table. But these are straight out of camera as far as color and exposure and white balance are concerned. This is what you get straight out of camera when you use off camera lighting and the speed light softbox and it just shows you how much nicer photo you can get straight out of camera using a speed light softbox. Here's another shot. This is uh, with the light coming in from the right side. You can see the kind of effect we're getting from the coffee table that I've stood up in the background. Makes for a kind of interesting backdrop instead of just pure black. We've got uh, some, some light reflected off and it's giving us kind of a dissipated light there in the background making for an interesting backdrop. We could probably take this this image here down a little bit on exposure, although I kind of like the hard lighting effect. Uh, we've got, you know, the soft light from the softbox, but a little bit of the hard light because it's reflected in Vader's uh, chest plate there and on some of the controls. Uh, really like the effect, especially in the helmet. Again, we're back to the other side. Um, for lighting off the left side now and uh, again you can see the effect a little different here the way the lights catching that table in the background making for quite an interesting shot there and again this is at uh, ISO 80 and this one is f 4.9 move the light a little bit so we're changing the aperture to compensate to get the effect we're looking for and that's kind of what you do when you shoot with uh, the speed light softbox and when you're playing with your lighting is you want to um, play around with how close you want it. You want to play around with your aperture until you're getting the, the look that you want in your photo. Next one here, we've got the light again coming from the right side. Uh, we've got Vader's saber is down. And uh, this is one of, one of my favorites from this series. I really like the effect, the lighting. This is straight out of camera, no, uh, no correction once again. This is what you get um, when you use a speed light softbox. Now obviously you gotta dial in your lighting and whatnot, but I dialed it in to where I liked it. And um, this is the Sony RX100 straight out of camera, no adjustments, ISO 80, F5.6, one one hundredth of a second. This next shot is uh, again at ISO 80, F5.6, one one hundredth of a second. A Little bit more of a frontal view here. Again, no adjustments straight out of camera using a speed light softbox. Here we've got the cape off of Vader. Again, we're at ISO 80, f5.6, 1 one hundredth of a second. Kind of a frontal view there. And here we've gone back to the lighting from the left side. And uh, this is f5.6 again, 1 one hundredth of a second, ISO 80. And um, more of a lower perspective here. You could see that the reflection on the back table is lower as well. And we're getting Vader lit more in his uh, lower half and just a little bit different look to the photo, a little bit different perspective. Softbox, the Speedlight softbox is on the right again and a uh, little bit different uh, setting with the character and also the way the light is catching him. This is again one of my more favorite photos from this series here and I do, I really like the way the light has caught the table in the background and it makes for a very interesting effect. And this is the last one I've chosen out of this series. And uh, this one, we're shooting more down on Vader. So we're not really seeing the uh, table propped in the background. And also, we basically got almost pure black, except for a little bit of reflection in the, in the foreground of Vader. Um, and so a very subtle lighting on him, less... Um, 
less of that direct contrasty lighting and it makes for again for a really interesting photo here uh, between the angle and the way it's been lit and whatnot and again this is just one speed light softbox this is at uh, f 7.1 1 one hundredth of a second iso 80 and uh that's the series there for with the Speedlight softbox folks. Those ones have all been cropped to 16 by 9 to accommodate the uh, the uh, 16 by 9 frame view in um, in YouTube. What I'll do now is I'll just show you the photos uh, series of them uh, with their original crops as shot in camera, and uh, you can have a look at those. Um, thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more in this series on uh, photo lighting magic with Speedlight softboxes, and um, probably be using the uh, Olympus uh, EPL5 next uh, just to demonstrate some stuff on this and um, stay tuned we'll be back soon with some new videos some new articles we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com thanks folks